Welcome to this very special video that celebrates Tropica Aquarium Plants 50th anniversary. In this video we will take you through Tropica's entire journey from 1970 to 2020, detailing some key milestones along the way. We are also very excited to announce a special 50th anniversary book that's now available from your local Tropica dealer. In this you will find the inspirational stories accompanied by beautiful images that have enabled Tropica to become the success it enjoys today by working together with our wonderful customers and global aquascaping community. So let's take a look at some of Tropica's milestone events during our incredible 50 year journey. Tropica Aquarium Plants was originally founded by Holger Windelov in 1970 with its first production facilities in Skeiring, Denmark. I have to find a name for my company and because I have been in the Tropic area when I was a seaman on the ship, I thought Tropica, it couldn't be more exotic. In 1973, Anubius Barteri Nana was introduced to the aquarium hobby worldwide, where it firmly established Tropica as an international brand. Maybe I should tell the story about Anubius Nana. I got one plant from a local uh, man and I paid 30 Danish crowns for it, five crowns per leaf and uh, on that time in 1973 it was quite a lot and I start growing it but I soon found out that it was really slow growing. I could see it would take me years to have enough plants for selling so I contacted uh, a Danish company who make tissue culture for the normal nurseries in Denmark, which later would be a very important part of Tropica. Holger was a keen explorer, constantly on the lookout for new aquatic plant species, and in 1974 discovered the beautiful Cryptocorini wenditii myoya in Sri Lanka. 1976 saw the introduction of Tropica's hydroponic growing technique, the first to be used by any aquarium plant producer. The whole system was called hydroponic, made a revolution in the production of aquatic plant. Now we could make it in pot. Tropica was the first who brought the hydroponic system into the aquatic plant trade. Today Tropica's huge greenhouses now have complex computer controlled systems using hydroponics to grow millions of healthy plants every year for customers in 58 countries. To deal with the growing demand of premium quality aquarium plants, Tropica expands its production facilities, doubling its size to 9,000 square metres in 1984. Echinodorus parviflorus tropica was the first aquatic plant to be named after the company in 1985 and continues to be produced to this day. In 1992, Holger goes on expedition to the island of Mauritius and discovers Liliopsis maritiana on the southeast part of the island. 1992 is a busy year for Tropica, with Holger also discovering Cyprus Helferi in Thailand. Microsorum terapus windelov is the world's first painted in aquarium plant. It was developed by developing a natural mutation through several generations until the species became stable and now remains a popular variety of java fern with many hobbyists. Choose the name Windelow because of the year, 25 year anniversary. And that was also for me an honour. So now, when I'm not here anymore, there is still some Windelow in the world. Tropica's Aqua Decor range was conceived in 1993 when they first began to produce Anubius and Microsorum attached to lava stones and wood. Now Tropica produce many other species attached to decor, including Bucophalandra, Pogostamon helferi, Hygrophila pinnatifida, and even Cryptocorony pecci, amongst other species. 1994 saw a groundbreaking move, with Tropica being the first Danish horticultural company to start their own tissue culture laboratory. Today we can see it was the right decision, because today Tropica has the biggest laboratory in whole Northern Europe. I'm happy to see the development of the tissue culture plants. Holger's explorations reached Cuba in 1995 where he discovered more plants, including one of the world's most well-known carpeting plants, Hemianthus calitricoides cuba. 
But the most important plant I found in Cuba was the Hymenanthus calitroides Cuba. That's a little difficult to see, maybe because it's a very small plant. And it has been one of the most successfully plant Tropica have brought to the market. 2001 witnessed yet more wonderful aquarium plant discoveries from Holger in Brazil, with him discovering Bacopa australis. Tropica saw a gap in the market for tiny aquariums and introduced one of the world's first nano aquariums, the Tropica Aquacube. This arguably started the global trend for the now ever popular nano aquascaping hobby. Uh, Takashi Amano from Japan, who made the first small aquarium, but we decided to make an European one, so we made an aqua cube. In a huge development for the company, 2004 saw the JPS Clemens Investment Group acquire 60% of Tropica. And following that, in 2007, JPS Clemens acquires the remaining 40%. Holger Windelov remains on the board of directors. In 2004, I became, uh, as part of uh, JPS Clemens, a member of the board. And two years after, in 2006, I became head of Tropica as part of making the company more international and to strengthen the brand throughout uh, mainly Europe, but also on a longer term uh, internationally. We moved to these new locations, as you see in the video here in 2007, where we have managed to get more room, more space for further growth. This was actually the set of expanding Tropica further into the market. Tropica continues to invest in its ability to produce greater quantities of world-class aquarium plants by moving its facilities to Agar in Denmark in 2007. The new production site includes a state-of-the-art tissue culture production laboratory and high-tech computer-controlled greenhouses covering a total area of 11,000 square metres. Focusing on environmental sustainability, in 2010, Tropica uses almost 100% of recycled rainwater for the production of its aquarium plants. We are continuing to increase overall energy efficiencies by reducing the amount of electricity and heating used year on year. Also in 2010, Tropica introduces the hugely successful 1-2 grow range. These tissue cultured plants are grown in our own state of the art laboratories. They are guaranteed to be free from algae, snails, disease and pesticides and Tropica are producing more species all of the time. Committed to all levels of hobbyists, in 2012 Tropica developed the new standard in the aquarium plant industry by introducing the patented Easy, Medium and Advanced categorization system. This makes choosing the right plant for your aquarium very straightforward. 2012 also sees the Tropica 90 Days app for smartphones being developed, simplifying the planted aquarium maintenance processes in those crucial first three months. Keen to cater for the growing North American planted aquarium hobby, Tropica expands its growing facilities to Vancouver in Canada in 2015, where it continues to develop in this emerging market. In another groundbreaking move, Tropica develops its self-service aquarium plant packages to include blister packs in 2016. This allows the plants to be stored maintenance-free for several weeks in shops without the need for inefficient and expensive underwater systems. Self-service coolers are now available that store all self-service products including pots, mini pots, portions and 1-2 grow cups. As the 1-2 grow tissue culture plants become more popular, Tropica takes the step in 2016 to boost production and efficiency levels by designing and building a new high-tech and larger laboratory at its Danish facilities. Tropica evolved the old ceramic ring bunch plants to plants grown in coconut fibres in 2018. With established roots, these self-service plants can be simply planted directly into the aquarium, making the whole process more efficient and more likely to result in successful growth. 2020 is the year Tropica Aquarium Plants celebrate their 50th anniversary. Tropica produce a special book, 50 Years Under the Surface, which is now available from your local Tropica dealer and celebrates the special relationship we have with our customers, hobbyists and aquascapers by providing inspirational stories and beautiful images. We at Tropica Aquarium Plants would love to thank you all for continuing to provide us with a motivation to learn, grow and inspire and look forward to another 50 years of making your aquarium a success.